All right, folks. So today we're going to review um, Batman: The Dark Knight MMS seventy one uh, from Hot Toys, um, one of the first Dark Knight uh, figures in their collection. Um, we're going to start off with the box. This is the the back part. As you can see, you know, some different poses that you could do with a with a figure. Um, yep, it's it's, it's movable. Hey, um, thirty two points of articulation. Um, this is the side of the box. Um, box is pretty neat you know it has some texture into it um, and this is just the, uh, the outer sleeves so on the, the right hand side um, you can see the Dark Knight logo and once you remove that outer sleeve you uh, get inside a box which is, is this part you know I, I'm not even sure if that's actually Christian Bale or the figure itself you know, so that's how detailed it is um, you can see the side some pinstripes on it. Um, it says the Dark Knight um, Collector's Edition MMS 71. Yep, it has a, um, a flap as well. It just sticks to a Velcro. There you go. And on the plastic, it has the traditional Joker Why So Serious. It has the, the smiley face on it that goes directly to the head of Batman, which is a pretty neat touch. This is the outer figure, you know, some poses that you could do. Yeah. That's pretty neat. You probably can't see it well because of the glare, but, but once you uh, open the box, you take it off. This is what's inside. Uh, you can see how the accessories were slayed out. Um, and I, and I, took a, I took a video of it as soon as I opened it up. See him, he's still all wrapped up. Extra head sculpt and the grappling gun, some pairs of extra hands, some different poses. And his belt is still wrapped up in all his hands. Uh, so you can see the details on his armor, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Even on his legs and pants. So let's start off with the accessories. Uh, comes in with a standard um, hot toy stand, the Dark Knight logo on it. It says a Dark Knight version because there's a Batman Begins version. Um, some different uh, sets of hands. Those two relaxed ones, which you can put the Batarang and the Bat Bomb. Uh, the closed fist are they're already on, on the figure, so that's in there. Another hand on the on the, on the middle part on the right hand side uh, that's what holds the the grappling gun and then this one on the far right uh, I believe that's what holds this uh, bat bomb so yeah you you can you can mix and match you know it doesn't really matter which one comes to which just as long as you you know can create a good post that's all that matters. Yeah, and this bad bomb is, is so detailed as well. Uh, as you can see, it's um, it's really tiny. So it, it's, it looks pretty neat. Two um, gold finish um, batarang, which is uh, pretty cool. And this is the the grappling gun. You see the rigs to finish on it. It doesn't um, cock back, which is kind of disappointing, but you know. What can you expect? Uh, this is the first Batman, uh, and this is his uh, utility belt, which you can take on and off from the figure. It's pretty neat. It, it comes with some little gadgets on the side, which you cannot take off. It's just there for show, but it's it's still nice. It's it's a good touch to it. Yep, yeah, all over it. So it's it's pretty easy to snap back on and off. Um, on the backhand side, as you can see it there, it's, it's like a real belt. Um, there's like a three hole in it, which you can just snap on and off. So it's it's, it's pretty pretty easy for you to uh, whatever if, if you want Batman to have a belt or not, you know. So and on the back of the belt, um, there's a hook which you can put the the grappling gun to it. So that's that's a good touch as well. There you go. This is the stand again. All right, so now let's go to um, you know to um, the figure itself. All right, so this is him. As you can see, 
that part is, is really great. Um, and the armor is made out of um, rubber, but it has uh, different layers on it. Um, the top armor is uh, made out of plastic. And you can see the bottom part. You can take it all off if you want to. Um, the boots can be taken off. Uh, I've seen some people sell it on eBay. You know, they chop the parts off. Um, this one you could take off. Like his armor. Be careful on those things because they are sharp. Um, I tried. I, I think I almost cut myself a few times. The head sculpt. It's 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 amazing. As you can see his eye. And there's like a little red on the right hand side. Um, it's, it, the details are just amazing on this guy. It's it's actually, uh, I mean, the details on the head is comparable to DX02. I wouldn't say comparable, but you know, it's it's not far off behind, unlike his his Bruce Wayne counterpart. But I can live with it, you know. It's it's amazing. And this is the left hand side of the figure. Let's see, that's the armor. Um, it's like a two part. The shoulder part. That's what uh, makes it. A little bit harder to post because of the fact that it's it's made out of rubber even though it has some um, you know some pretty good articulation points but it does go back and forth especially on the knees and shoulders because of the fact that yeah as you can see his knee pads it's, it's all made out of rubber the details are great yeah that's the cape the shoe it's all great it's uh, it's just the, the posing part is a little limited compared to other hot toys This belt. You know, the details. It really resembles his uh, the Dark Knight armor, the same as in the movies. No oily abs. That's only on DXO2. Just great. There he is with a stand. And this is the back part of the figure. Uh, this is without the cape. Of course, you can take the cape on and off. Um, but to tell you, it's really hard to put it on. I haven't fully figured out how to keep it in place without you know, falling off. My friend has a DX, uh, DX12, which he told me you, you need to snap it on. But I'm kind of scared to put it in. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe if you know some tips, just put it on the comment section. This is the side armor, which is great. You can see the closed fist and on his leg part. So you can see the details. Um, it really does look like the, the Dark Knight armor from the movies. Even the shoes, look at that. Look at Right, I, I didn't even take a, um, a video of this, the sole on this shoe, but it's, it's just an, it's amazing as well. The creases on his armor are just uh, great. This is the grappling gun. Uh, you can put it on the back of his belt. That that small hook right there makes it easy to just just snap in and out. And this is the upper armor that I'm talking about earlier. It's made out of rubber uh, and plastic. The the shoulder part makes it harder to uh, maneuver his hand going up and down. Now this is the extra hand that comes along with a figure. Uh, a lot of people say it doesn't look like Christian Bale. Uh, yep, it does not. It's somewhat, I guess. It looks more like Keanu Reeves, but in case Keanu um, plays Batman, then you're all set. You know, I guess that's the best part. But it looks a lot better in person. You know, it's it's not that bad. It's just not DX12. Obviously, DX12 came out, you know, a few years later. So it's it's a lot more expensive. It's a lot more detail. But it's not like this head is Superman Returns kind of head sculpt it's not it's actually better in person and it doesn't look bad as you can see him uh, as you can see the head attached with the, uh, with the armor it, it does not look bad at all yeah I don't know I, I can live with it I mean it's, you know, for half the price why not I mean you can always buy a head sculpt on eBay or something like that if you really need one Could be worse, I, I guess. Like I said, um, and there you go. That's pretty much it. Uh, this is another picture that I took. I'm gonna have another video of some post action, you know, whatever it might be on this figure. Uh, thank you so much for watching. So anyone wanting to buy MMS 71, hope hopefully this this helps you out in your decision. All right, have a good one. Thank you for watching.